Well, hello. So we have an extra spot in our Zentangle Inktober artwork, and I was thinking of filling it with this pattern I saw the other day. I don't know if it's a pattern, a Zentangle pattern that already exists out there, that already has step outs. I saw this pattern on a carpet in a hotel that I was staying at, and I figured I would try to draw it. So you start off with a square, ish sort of square -ish shape and then you go ahead and aura that square -ish shape towards the middle of the bottom side you go ahead and add just a straight line down then i'm going to add a horizontal line and create a square ish shape right here And I'll go ahead and aura inside this square-ish shape, this rectangle, I shall say, and continue on with this pattern. So drawing another line straight down, drawing another horizontal line, drawing an outer rectangle, and then auraing inside that rectangle. So this sort of string of aurad squares creates the base of our pattern. Then to one side, I'm going to aura this entire string of squares. Now in the space where I'm auraing just that vertical line, I'm going to extend this out to create a rectangle. So it's a rest rectangle that's sort of nestled in there. And then inside this rectangle, I'll go ahead and aura. And then right down here, I'll bump out again. So creating a rectangle that's just sort of nestled in there and add an aura on the inside. So I'll continue on with this pattern. I'll go ahead and aura the entire row. Then I'll bump out those nestled rectangle shapes and aura them on the inside. And just continue alternating these two patterns, auraing the entire row, bumping out the rectangles, auraing inside the rectangles. And you can build to one side of that original string or you could flip your paper over and build to the other side of that original string.
Yeah, I'm satisfied with that for now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab my pencil and add some shading. And I'm going to shade along two edges inside these Ored rectangle shapes. And we'll blend that in using our tortillon. And just for fun, because this is a gray tile and I can both shade and highlight, I'm going to use my pastel chalk pen or pencil, sorry, and add just a little, you know, sort of curved shape of white in the lighter section of the squares. It's just going to add a hint of highlight. And then once I've gotten them all drawn in there. I'll blend in with a tortillon that I only use with my white pencil. So there you go. That's our bonus pattern for today. I don't know if it has a name. I don't know if anyone else has ever created a step out for this pattern. If you know of this pattern, if you know its name or you've seen it somewhere before, please leave me a comment below. It would be really helpful. If it's something that you've never heard of, you've never seen before, it might be something that we can call a new tangle. And in that case, I'll create, you know, some step outs um, so folks know how to draw this new and interesting pattern. Now that you know what pattern I'm going to be drawing, let's go ahead and add it to our Zentangle Inktober mandala. So here's the last space in our Zentangle Inktober artwork. And as I did earlier, 
I'll start off, start off with a rectangle shape. Then I will aura around this rectangle shape. Out the center of the bottom, go ahead and create a vertical line, then a horizontal line that will become the top of a new rectangle shape. Then aura inside this rectangle shape, and this will be our sort of base row of rectangle shapes. And then I will fill in to one side and the other. So start by auraing to one side of this connected row of rectangle shapes. Then I'll bump out this nestled rectangle. I kind of like this one. This one is kind of strange shaped. It's like a brick. And then I'll aura inside this rectangle. So it really doesn't matter, you know, the size or shape of your rectangles, so long as they fit in. And that, pat, that row is done, so I'll go ahead and aura once more and continue on. I'm noticing as I draw to the left that my lines are getting a little bit more wiggly, a little less crisp. So in the future, I think I'll make sure to turn the paper when I'm drawing because apparently for some reason, I have a whole lot more control and precision when I'm drawing towards the right rather than towards the left. So that's the basic drawing pattern, but as always, I'm thinking about how I might want to play with or embellish this pattern. So I think this time I'm going to ink in that original rectangle shape and the aura around it and just see how it turns out, see if I like it.
let's go ahead and add some shading. So again, as I did earlier, I'm going to put graphite on the inside of these rectangles on two edges. I think I might go ahead after the video and add some little white flicks along the inked in squares to make them look a bit more shiny. Um, but otherwise, that's this pattern. I'm not sure what it's called. I would love to know if you've heard of it before, if you've seen it before elsewhere. But for now, we'll just call it our bonus pattern for today. I kind of wanted something that was a little bit more geometric considering much of what we do in our in mandala was very organic and flowy. So I think it creates a really fun contrast that I can't find much elsewhere in the rest of the mandala. Anyways, thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you have a great rest of your day and perhaps I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.